I always wanted to be a cartoonist. I told him I want to be a cartoonist when I was like, you know, third grade or something. I don't want to say exactly something like that just comes out of me, you know, like I have to do it, but it is sort of a compulsion, I guess. You'd think that I would have an answer to that question by now. I think I cartoon because I think now in terms of gag cartoons, not in terms of really complex narratives or <laughs> storylines, but, but storylines that take four seconds to understand. Well, I had nothing much else. <laughs> I seem to have a knack for it, and I realize that people get away with worse than this. So, uh... oh, also when I went, to, yeah, I went briefly to the uh, School of Visual Arts for something, and I remember meeting some guy, and he was learning some sort of illustration. We're talking about the fact that he did a drawing for an ad. I don't know what it was, a teapot or something. And he said, they made me draw a teapot. And I had to do it. But it came out pretty good. It was really a nice teapot. And I thought, well, I hope I don't ever have to do a nice teapot. Listen, the facts, the numerical percentages are that you get published or you can sell one out of a hundred cartoons. Maybe there are 65 or 75 cartoonists in the whole world, you know, like really doing the single panel stuff, single panel cartoon. And they're competing for what's even now even smaller number of spots. And if your cartoon sold over my cartoon to get that space, you're taking my space away. But I love you just as much. I think you're terrific. I admire you, you're wonderful. And maybe that's why we all together to have lunch.